Oh my goodness. The amount of people outside of the Magic Kingdom waiting to get on in the opening day of Tron is absurd. Look at the amount of people here. So much for rope dropping and uh, getting a head start to your day. My goodness, welcome to the grand opening of Tron here at Disney's Magic Kingdom April 4th. My goodness, there is a mountain of people outside. Wow. Let's see how long it takes to get in. Keep in mind, keep in mind, the park doesn't officially open until nine and extra hours for those staying in hotel begin at 8.30, it's 7.56. Holy camoli. It looks like they're now opening a line to the right. Welcome to the grand opening of Tron. We got boarding group 20 somehow. It says in two hours. We'll see. There's really not a straight line anywhere. It's kind of just like, join the herd. This is like the worst I've ever seen it yet. We haven't really rope dropped in forever, but this is to another level, obviously to expect because of Tron. We'll see how long this boarding group does stay. It says currently right now that I have a two hour wait. We'll see, we'll see, boarding group 20. Best strategy for this is just to get in line and and see what happens. I waited for the other lane to open to the right and it looks like we're moving pretty fast. We're almost there. It's only taken like six minutes. And we're in six minutes. That's all it really took. Super efficient. Gotta love that. Today though, is crowded. All time records were reached today, April 4th. Let's go on top of the train station where no one really should be right now, except us. If you guys could do the channel a favor, go ahead and that thumbs up the video, subscribe if y'all are new. No one's up here. Everybody should be rope dropping it down at Main Street. Now the time, 8.12 here in the morning, 8.30 those early 30 minutes for hotel guests only start. We've got until nine. We'll see the new stage show. We're not really in a rush since we do have a boarding group for Tron. Should get on probably within an hour and a half. I don't know, we're boarding group 20. Probably the best boarding group I've ever, ever received. But look at the hype, look at all the people here. Being on days like this, grand openings, it's just something else. We had like a six hour turnaround from 11 o'clock to, well, a little bit more than that, math. Eight. We were here last night for the first showing of Happily Ever After. Now we're here for Tron. Welcome to the opening day. Oh, they might have some merchandise. Hold on. I want to go see what that cast member right there is holding up. She has a sign. It might say merchandise, but that's not normal for someone to be holding up a sign. But I go check it out real quick. I do know that the merch is going to be somewhere in Tomorrowland, and there is going to be a virtual queue just for today. Could be some other days, but usually on the opening day, that's when we only see a virtual queue for merch. Technically, today is our first rope drop of 2023. Yeah, it does say merchandise event. Ooh. There's a separate line for merchandise. But otherwise, if you are interested in Tron, she does premiere today, and if you don't know what Tron This way, is, I'm sure you for merch. I wonder if there's gonna be like a merchandise event scan, so we can get into the to the virtual queue for that. Is there a virtual queue scan over? Apparently, we can go see the merch now? Okay, let's, let's go see what, what's up. I feel like the only ones doing this I'm gonna be one to buy resellers because everyone should be rope dropping the Magic Kingdom. Curious. A beautiful day. A beautiful day here. I'm curious. This has never been done before, at least to my knowledge. But no one's here. In line for merchandise, that is. <laughs> we were just here last night. All right, merchandise event to the right. Not really any line so far. So I did ask what is going on. Now it's similar to rope drop for uh, resort guests versus non-resort guests. We get to get let in at nine, all the resort guests get at 8.30. <laughs> I 
where is this line gonna go? It look, looks like we're technically... Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Looks like we're gonna be going into Tomorrowland before the rope drop officially begins. I thought I would be able to get the stage show, but we'll just rope drop in. See that another morning. See, look, we're actually going somewhere different. Looks like we're at the lines in Stitch's Great Escape. I think that's where we're going. Oh yeah, look at all these cast members here. There's a wall of them. We're going to Stitch's Great Escape, it looks like. Awesome, so we're gonna head over in that queue line right over oh, here. Okay, well, thank you. So I think we're following this queue. Yeah, that's what's going on. Here's like all the cast member leaders. Cool. I haven't been back here in forever. Now, since we do have a pretty early boarding group, Disney actually did just change technically their virtual queue overnight. If you, you're late to your boarding group, they may not accommodate you. So FYI, make sure you guys are on time for your boarding group. It's 825. I see everybody flooding on into Tomorrowland. We'll see when the, they open the merch here for us. Looks like they've begun letting the, the line in. I don't know if this is for standby for non-resort guests like us or for resort guests. Oh my God. Guys, we might be in trouble. They just started boarding. Estimated wait time is 35 minutes. I think we have an hour to return. The excitement Hallelujah. is here. 8.55 and our line is moving. Smiles all around. Let's go check out this merch and then head on over to Tron because our boarding group will probably be called. If you guys can make it on these days, I'm telling you this is the best part of coming to Disney World every single day. These brand brand new openings. One. Ah. Okay, cool. Thank you. I don't know if we're going to mobile check out. It really just depends when our boarding group gets gets called. We've got posters on the wall. I don't know how often they're going to use this, but this is the the theming for the Tron store, even though this isn't the official store. The Tomorrowland Launch Depot was supposed to be open, but it has been delayed. So that's why we're going to um, the one and only Star Traders. In we go. Check out this madness. A whole store full of... Oh my goodness! Hey guys. Look at this bad guy. How much is this? Flynn light cycle action figure. $69.99? Is this a keychain? Yeah, it looks like a keychain. $16.99, yeah it is. We've got coins, $2.99. Tron Arcade token. Here's a look at their sipper cup. That's cool, I like how it races on top. $27.99. Look at this! Oh. My. Goodness. I need this. $69.99. That's kind of a bargain. Here's a sweatshirt, $54.99. Casey would love this. Here's a look at the madness. Lots going on. If you guys wanted a Tron backpack, got the Tron backpack here. $49.99. It's actually very lightweight as well. There is so much merchandise, like a ton. <laughs> a vintage identity disc, it's like a disc golf. $9.99, I doubt you can use it for disc golf, but that's kind of funny. $129, by the way. Oh, it lights up like that. Can you see that, guys? I think it makes some noise, too. I don't know what this joystick is. I think that's just for display. I think it just lights up. It's cool, I'm keeping the box. Just the action figures. $24.99 for uh, this guy. Is that Tron? Warrior action figure. What a hard launch for merch. $49.99. Got this little bag here. $39.99. Ooh, a Tron disc magnet. Teal, whatever teal is. I feel like I keep seeing new things around the corner like this. They have another backpack. $54.99 for this cooler backpack. I believe this is the one that will store your disc right here. And this is how much? $69.99 for your very own Tron disc. You can also get the Tron vehicle. Oh, that's cool. It looks like it's remote control. It is, because it says it is. $69.99. Another Tron magnet. 
This one's cooler. It's red. We've got this rather plain jacket, $59.99. If you guys like patches, we've got a patch, $9.99. Oh, look at these cool slap bracelets. $12.99 in all the different colors. I like red, personally. Wow, look at that. Kids shirt, $31.99. No flipping way. This is a bicycle helmet. Or a light cycle helmet. $59.99, can you use it as a bicycle helmet? Probably not. But hey, I would. Another keychain. Personally, it's too big for me. No price. It's free, I guess. No price for the shirts, but this looks to be like their basic t-shirt that they'll always be selling. It's got a breathable armpits, that's nice. Another keychain, man, they're making these keychains big. Teal. Personally, I like this keychain the best since it's like the smallest, $14.99. Wow, limited edition of a thousand, Initiate, initiating upload sequence. I think I'm gonna get this. I love that uh, it's only a limited edition of a thousand. Here's their other pin set lanyard. $34.99, these probably will be common all around. Also got this pin set too. These are $29.99. This is 60 bucks, by the way. Very cool mug here. Look how it's like curved. Oh my gosh, I love Tron, $24.99. Oh, here's their basic t-shirts. These are the ones that they're always going to, to have. 44 bucks, wow. Game on hat, breathable, $29.99. This lights up, that is cool. How much are you? 30 bucks? Yep, $29.99, look at that. That could be a, a pricer. Found another pin here, this one's a limited release, $17.99. Found the $64.99 magic band. I like how this opens up. Boom. Limited edition of $2,100. What a cool picture frame here. I don't know, looks like, how do you get your picture in here? Somehow. 30 bucks. If you wanna be one within the Tron, this looks like the jacket that they're selling and it does light up. Don't wanna kill the battery, it's not lighting up. What is this, 64? It's 100. Oof. 100 bucks. 100 buckaroos. It's cool that it lights up. I just keep finding merch after merch after merch everywhere. Our boarding group just got called already. We have an hour to board. Looks like six minutes ago it got called. Crazy. Found another shirt. Flynn's Top Score Club. I think I, I, I found everything. I might have missed a couple things. Hi. Want to say hi? Hi. Hi, friends. What's up? How's it going? To Kyle. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, What'd you yeah. get? Yeah. I missed these pins somehow. There's just so much everywhere, guys. It doesn't matter. And I miss these pins too. All right, let's go on Tron. All right, this is gonna be like our third time on Tron. Curious to see how long this line is gonna take since we are boarding Group 20, and you know we are obviously here for the cast member previews. It's gonna be a little bit different on how it operates and how long it actually does take. So it's gonna be good for you guys to see how long the line, you know, takes. Curious to see where the end of the line is. Also guys, I believe I forgot to mention this. Genie Plus today has reached an all time high. It used to be $29. Now just for one person, it's $35 for Genie Plus today. Obviously because the opening of Tron, and also, the Tron Launch Depot, which was renamed, is open, but I think it's only open if you had like the Tron Identity Action Figure reservations. You can head on in here. I'm gonna see if I can go in. I don't think I can, but yeah. Worth a shot. This used to be the Power and Light Company. It's been uh, renamed, rethemed for Tron. Let's see, it doesn't hurt to ask. It says merchandise event, so. Well, it says check-in, so I think it is for those reservations. They did not allow me to record inside. It's only for those who had the action figure reservation. It looked beautiful inside. Smelt really nice, you know. Smelt new. This is actually what's in there. These big displays. Can you guys see this? 
It's a very simple design in there. But we're gonna go on in our morning. Go on for our boarding group. See how long this takes. Welcome to the opening of Tron, everybody. Looks like you can just freely walk back here too. You don't need to show any boarding group, which is nice. If you want pictures, they didn't close it off. Didn't expect them to do that. We also still have to get the new food. I don't think we have to mobile order. Here's how it's working. Lightning lane to the left. Virtual queue to the right. Surprised they didn't scan it up here. I didn't scan at all. All right, let's see how this how this goes. It's the first day with it having the lightning lane. We're gonna know how long this does take right now, today, after waiting for your virtual queue. What time are we getting in line here? It is 9.27. Remember, you do have an hour after your uh, queue has been called. I wonder how long this is gonna take. Interesting though, I would have thought they would have scanned our virtual queue back there because what if you don't have one and you, you, know, you just you think it's a standby line and people get up there and they're confused. Maybe in the future they'll have that, I bet you any money. Line is moving very steady. Feels just like the previews. Inching closer and closer. tap so it says you are not in the queue but I tapped and it went blue interesting so uh, we're gonna head on over here try to get it fixed and uh, we are in easy fix don't know what happened it was a glitch but we're in it took me about 25 minutes to get on in. So maybe it's Attention gonna take users, about 50. You are about to be digitized into the world of Tron. For your safety in this world, all users should be in good health. And now we join at this line. We have not yet merged with the landing lane. So far, it's taken me an hour and a half to get to this point. Crazy, but I'm happy, we're here. All we gotta do is tap and put everything in. No? Did that work? No? Mine wasn't working, so they gave me a card. 522. In we are. An hour and a half, and we're officially here. It's a long wait, but it's definitely worth it. Here we go.
congratulations, users. A championship performance. And victory. Nobody was behind us. You see that? Here's where we return our uh, white card. And we're done. Just like that. Such a blast. I got to ride it with one of you. She's from Wisconsin. I love riding with you guys if you're gonna be like, you know, if it works out. Also, this is a new section. Thought it would be the merch shop, but it's not. It's welcome to Team Green. I think this is, I actually don't know what this is. Oh, it's just an Enterprise ad. That's so funny. Oh, it's so cool though. Look at this. Wow. Can I get one? How much does that cost? I'll buy that. I think the one thing that we learned here is that the standby, an hour and a half, maybe two hours, longer than I thought it was gonna be. Guardians is super efficient with the virtual queue. You know, it only sometimes takes 30 to an hour. This one, guys, if you have dining reservations, make sure you put it off, especially for standby. That took, that took a hot second, but it was worth it. Obviously here on, on opening day. Since that took so much time, I do have a doctor's appointment at 12.30. We're gonna come back for the food one of these days. Totally forgot to end the video, guys, but um, I gotta head to my doctor's appointment in like 30 minutes now. The time is 12, so I'll see you guys. Jump around. Keep going, Woo! keep Jump going, around. keep going. I like your hands Jump in the around. pocket, that's a new one. And perfect, can I get a high five? Wow.